Well, hey there team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to World of Horror. I love this game. We covered it a little bit back in the day, and uh, any excuse to come back to it will do. And arguably, this new update called The Ceaseless Curse seems like just that excuse. You can see there, there's quite a few things covered off. If you were a veteran of this game, you probably already know about this. So this video is not that helpful. Uh, basically, I'm using this as an excuse to shout out what I think is a wonderful and underrated game. Maybe you guys have missed it. You're new to the channel. Uh, so we're going to play through this a little bit. But uh, we'll just go over the patch notes really quickly. Um, though, again, I haven't gone far enough down the rabbit hole in this game for a lot of it to really mean much to me. This game is something that really challenges that Japanese horror vibe and you can see it's done in this like one bit style you can change the aesthetic a bit which is pretty cool um, but uh, there's this sort of horror investigative uh, rogue like almost like you do runs back to back uh, of trying to explore around and uh, fight these horrible monsters and solve these crimes and that it's, it's very like while it's not while it's not Cthulhu-like in theme, in structure, if you've ever played any of the Cthulhu sort of tabletops or Trials of Cthulhu or Trails or whatever it's called, um, it actually plays out in that, in the sort of heavy investigative front end and then confrontation with some sort of bloody monster out of the out of your insane depths of your mind. Anyway, so that's, that's the idea of this game. Um, what have we got here? Uh, content update uh, focuses on the Shio... Kawa and the city's dark secrets. I believe there's different regions that you can sort of unlock. You can go to more like a forest region and that as you go deeper in. But I think if you do die, you have to start all over again. Uh, I know I'm speculating wildly. It's got some really cool mechanics going on here and kind of punishing. Um, newly reworked city planning feature allows you to customize your game, select additional actions. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, got a curse with witch an ex-cultist in your roster because you can recruit people in and choose people that sort of thing. Uh, there's a challenge mode, which is the thing that really jumped out at me. Two new mysteries uh, added in as well, and it seems like modding support. So actually quite a bit of stuff added in here. Let's go with new story. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes to choose on. Well, we can go two bits. We can go, adds a little bit of depth, you know, but one bit, oh, much better, much better. Uh, randomize. Look at that. I like this a lot. What a great way to start. So w what we can do is, you know, keep randomizing. You've got all these different beautiful aesthetics. Holy heck. How amazing. Um, uh, I don't know. We can, we'll go this sort of, well, maybe, oh, there you go. That's, that's pretty agreeable to the eyeballs. Let's do that one. Okay. If that's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with the spine-chilling story of school scissors option before trying something more complex. To be honest, again, this is a bike I haven't ridden in a little while. I remember the school scissors one vaguely. Let's go. Complexity one. But there you go. You've got different people that you choose from. You can customize your playthrough, which I think becomes the essence of it, actually. Um, I can't quite remember, though. Let's do this. This is only a very short scenario, but it, it serves as a pseudo-tutorial, I guess. Uh, city of Shi Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Oh, look out, look out, look out, oh no, the internet Illuminati. Look out, old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Oh, look at this, yes, what a setup. Skrrt. <laughs> Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Jeez, if I don't sneeze, apologies. Uh, an old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Okay. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. Okay, well, cool. The story so far, I think that's what we just... Oh no, here we go. You've been following the weird cult for weeks, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time. You can't rest until our town is saved. Oh. Okay. Combat tutorial off. 
I don't know, we'll turn that bloody on. Start the mystery. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Again, this is a showcase. We're trying to give you an idea of what this is all about. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. It's not, oh, I like this music. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Here we go. And the, the, the sound effects are so good too. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic clues. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Investigate this mystery. Let's go. School is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So what can we do here? What's in my storage? Friend's diary. I can't tuck the, touch the knife or anything. Friend's diary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What's going on there? 18. Oh, right, because it's Japanese. It's bloody back to front, right? Maru is acting strange. Need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. This sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. So what do we got going on here? It's sort of like a bloody triangle with some... Yeah, I'm going to forget that. Okay, wonderful. What can we do here? Inspect. Other pages seem irrelevant to the uh, case. I hope they are okay. Roger. Roger. All right, how do I get out of this bloody screen? Back. I like that we're on a monitor. That's very cool. All right, now what do we got here? Explore school, perform the ritual. Check out school lockers. Now let's explore the school. Here I go. Look at me go. <laughs> it's so gorgeous, this art. What is this? Uh, you've retrieved an item from the store. What is, what is that? Okay. Park guest. Oh, fuck! That actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, blessed chalk not found. Holy candles not found. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry to find those items. Uh, well, let's continue to explore the school. Do you hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. Uh, where is my stamina? Oh, stamina is my health. Right. Right, let's click on it. No good. School, day. All right, resolve this event. Something evil stalks the empty school corridors. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry to find it. Peek outside, explore the school. Oh, something equal stalks the empty school corridors. I don't want to peek outside. Uh, explore the school. Explore the school. What is this? Drifting classroom. Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Run. No, well, if we're on the roof, does it say where I am? Other world? Other world. Jesus. Try to sneak. Try to sneak. Dexterity check failure. You raise your head in time to see as the single eye glaring down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient runes and curses. Got bonus experience. Got a bloody curse on my head. No good. Spells. Okay, cool. Resolve this event. Ah, bugger me. Uh, you found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. 
hopefully it'll be enough. Is that it there? Am I supposed to bloody remember that? Redraw sigil. Do -do -do -do. Oh. Oh, here we go. Hang on. That's it there. That's the sigil there. Cool. It should be correct now. Yes. All right, but we still want the holy candles. Perform the ritual. Explore the school. Explore the school. Do, 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 do. Suddenly, everything slows to a crawl. Oh, no. Oh, look at this dude. Time Warper. Combat tutorial. During each turn, you'll build sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. Right? Uh, oh, you can see down here, B. So that's this here. This is the action ring. Once you've uh, filled your sequence bar, pr uh, press launch sequence. Right? So... We've only really got fist, haven't we? I mean, what's this? Offensive actions. We've got offensive. Oh, that's literally all we've got to choose from. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Big kicks. Launch sequence. Oots, 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 oots. Turn two begins. Uh, time warper steals some of your lifespan. Boy, I was bloody using that, mate. You punch Time Warper, minus two health. Okay, good, good. There's his health. Yeah. With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter. You can see there. But first, you need a weapon. Look uh, for an action called Look for Improvised Weapon. I love this game. This is so clever. Improvised Weapon. Let's do that. Um, what else have we got here? Fill the combat sequence. Oh, maybe that's not a thing I can do. Combat skill. Lowers your experience by five and raises your chance to hit by 10% for the rest of this combat. Oh, that's tempting. One-time use. Need stamina or reason to be lower than three. Oh, it's like a rally. And this action requires an ally. I, I think I can only look for improvised once. Here we go. What else have we got here? Needs an equipped weapon. Kick. Prepare your attack. Next hit's guaranteed. This affects stacks. Needs a firearm. Needs an equipped weapon. Um, time needed 40. How much do I have left? 80? 55 to kick. Um, oh, fuck. How do I undo... Uh... Oops. Combat sequence saved. Er... I thought there was a right click to undo. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to punch. And then what else have I got? 25 left. Oh, you know what? I could uh, I could do this. I'll go attack boost, attack boost, and then punch. Oots! Or kick or bloody whatever the hell it is. Boots! Turn three begins. Nice. He stole some of my lifespan. Scumbag. Um... Okay, look, a new item has appeared in the upper right corner. That's your inventory branch. Click it to equip it. Bang. Equip. Branch in slot A. Let's go, baby. Um, attack with your weapon. Strong attack. Str strength base. Base chance damage, chance to hit 70%. Three damage. Four damage. Look at that. Let's get two branch hits in there. And uh, probably a prepare. And two of them. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's go. One, two, branch. One, branch. Oh, there we go. Look at this. He's got it all worked out. He's only got eight hit points left. Let's just keep bashing him. You feel older and weaker. Please stop doing that to me, sir. Um, let's just do the same thing again. Oh, you can, and you can save your sequence, right? So we're going to go prepare plus branch plus branch, save sequence, launch. Though so that should hopefully kill him. Oh, no. Load sequence. 
launch sequence. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Resolve combat. Very good. Got him. Get out of here, you goober. Sound of skizzers is getting louder. You must hurry. Explore the school. Investigating Jim. Trophy case. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Um, needs a tiny item or something. Break the window and grab it. Check plaques and trophies. Let's check the plaques and trophies. Luck check success. Huh. It seems the person involved with the current case was a prize winning swimmer. Ooh, look at that. We got some bonus XP cool beans. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. Now, just for reference, I'm not sure. We might get a chance to have a look at the large scenarios. You, you move around the city to different locations and you go into like hospital to heal and you go to the shops to buy equipment and that. So this is still very narrow and the school will be one of those scenarios but it really does open up and you travel around the the sort of hub a lot more solving these mysteries you found the holy candles in your friend's backpack you lit them as instructed by the notebook everything is ready for the ritual let's bloody disc wait what's that oh, 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 oh. knock knock motherfucker look out oh here she is holy heck look at this Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, you take a step back and writhe uh, as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall woman-like creature with three faces all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Oh, shit. Let's go. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? No, love. You're fucking not. Um, okay. Um, what do we got here? What is this? Clap. A part of a ritual. Oh, you can clap, bow, and pray? Uh. Well, I don't... Okay. Most combat rituals are a combination of five bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. I don't know if now's the time to bloody work that out. Regain stamina for reason. Okay, so you can trade your mana for HP, essentially. Uh, what is this? Dodge. Drastically lowers the hit chance for the enemy. Okay, cool. Meditate. Oh, so you can flip it back the other way. Brace for impact. Lowers the incoming damage by half and ignores any special attack. All right, all right, all right, okay. Combat skill. Lowers your experience by five, but raise your chance to hit for the rest of the encounter. Look, you know what? We're gonna do that. I think that's sensible. I think that's very sensible. Strong attack. Base chance to hit, 54%. 10% chance to hit. 54, 60, let's go 64. Your next hack, attack at, uh, okay, whatever. That'll do. But I don't know if the rest carries over, right? Yeah, there we go, let's do that. Let's do that. Launch, oots. Big hit. Scissors woman stabs you. Oh, don't do that. I've only got 10 stamina left and she's got 16. Um, huh. So maybe what we need to do is time needed dexterity base. What is my dexterity? Five? Oh, it's not great. Strength is my strength, funnily enough. Let's just go bloody all in on the big boy attacks. Can I get two in? I can only get one in. But I can get one of these. And then... Uh, Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Yeah, but I can't fit the two. Yuck. Um, what about boom, 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 boom? No. All right, guaranteed to hit, bang. I can get two of those in. One, two, swing. All right, save. I like that sequence. You missed the attack. I thought you said next attack is guaranteed to hit. You fuck. 
Why lie to me? Oh, it's getting neck and neck. Stop stabbing me, please. Oh, she's got one HP. She's got one HP. Um, well, this should be... Oh, look, I think uh, my ability to hit is... I've got a slit mouth. Oh, yuck. What's going on there? Smile. Minus one charisma, minus one strength. Ah. 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 Oh, is, is my weapon going to be worn out? I think so. All right, let's go. We can finish this. Oh, yes. Get out of here, you silly old mole. All right, very good. Resolve combat. Good work. May 1984. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend a gravely wounded but alive. Or oh, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Yeah, the uh, spine chilling story ending A. Oh, look at this bashed up. Gracious me. All right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Equipped branch incoming doom 4%. All right, so this is this is ticking doom timer. It's a meta progression component to uh, trying to unlock uh, I think the lighthouse. You got to get all different keys by doing different missions. Your playthrough lasted X uh, that's not the only mystery plaguing this town. Okay, cool. Continue. Oh, look at this. So it boots back to menu. All right. Click anywhere. Now you can't continue. New story. Randomize. Let's go. Oh, delicious. I like that. Okay, cool. So you've got these other ones, which are different stars, and then you've got sort of customize this playthrough. What is this all about? One of the core ideas behind World of Horror is mod modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. Selecting a card pack you want to be included and continue by pressing the arrow at the bottom. Okay. World of Horror base game, unlockables, students, Contains all cards you've unlocked through achievements. So I can't really select any. Uh... Oh, okay. You, there you go. You can turn them on and off sort of thing. All right. Unlocked while playing. So you can unlock more cards. That's cool. Uncheck all. Check all. All right. I, I like that. Let's go. One last thing. A tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said you will know the password. What could that mean? Oh, it's a seed. It's the seed. Look, I randomize seed and continue. And so by playing this seed and the various bits and pieces, it should unlock more cards to make more scenarios. Um, robe figures can be seed gathering. Yep, 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 yep. We already had this sort of intro, but that's okay. Nice. So here we are. Um, customize pl the playthrough by choosing character and background. Oh, okay. Oi, look at this. I'm going to be swimsuit lady. Let's bloody go. Uh, difficulty. Oh, Jesus. Harbinger of Doom. Skeptic. Threat level lowered. Threat level increase. Holy heck. Well, let's just put it on pussy mode for the moment, to be honest. Randomize. Oh, oh, uh, the missing stars. Media reports on various people with seeming supernatural skills. Could it have any connection with news about stars disappearing from the night sky? Okay, right. Okay. All right, and off we go, I guess. First time playing, click here. No, no, no. Well, I, yeah, all right, let's do that. Welcome and thank you for trying World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may be a little disorienting for, at the beginning. Nah, this is beautiful. Uh, short tutorial. I'll do my best to explain various elements. Yeah, this would be a good way to close out this video. Just, again, like I said, this is just showing you how wonderful this game is. I really want to play more of this. Um, Hal, the creator of the game. I think I've got him on Twitter. Um... That's the main screen here. Uh, you interact with your surroundings, solve mysteries and fight enemies. It's a user interface, manage your inventory. Yep. Cool. We kind of figured that out, right? It's you on the right, the world of horrors RPG elements, right? 
you can move over to figure it out. I like this, this sort of pip boy sort of thing going on. It's your inventory, you can keep four items here, click to inspect them, cool, cool, cool. As you progress through your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. Would you like to turn the tutorial on for the combat tutorial? It will start during your first... Uh, no, that's okay, we've already done that. No, that's fine, cool. So, look at my, look at my, I thought I was a Sheila, but I guess when I press random, it just randomized everything, which is perfect for me. But you could really get into the minutiae of, of being anal about it. Now, if you go home, um, check your mailbox, cool, but I think you can, uh, you can have like a bath and all sorts of stuff. You can start a new mystery. You can change your clothes if you want, you know, that's kind of cool, like suppose. How do I get out of here? Watch TV. What's going on on TV? Minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed the entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Local silence has been the... Oh, that's cool. Can I, can I press buttons on my phone? Oh, I can. No? Okay. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Can I change the channel? Oh. And turn it on and off. You don't have any VHS cassettes to watch? Mate, this is sick. Okay, uh, and then if you go start a new mystery, inexplicable morbid events have been plaguing the town. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there's something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order. No, your your decisions will haunt you and influence unsolved mysteries, right? So then you go, what's going on here? Endings discovered, zero out of three, zero out of two. Okay, cool. Sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. Whatever, right? And then off you bloody go. Um, investigate mystery. Boom. Fancy investigation circled location has to progress. So you can see here, travel downtown. So similar to how we were searching the school and that was pushing the story along. That's sort of how it works here as well. You go to the specific area and you push it along. So the, the I mean, if you really want to strip it back, the gameplay, it's not so much light, but it is very hub exploration. Um, I, I actually think it's it's wonderful. It's very inspired. There's nothing wrong with the game that its mechanics when stripped back aren't that complex as well, as long as they are well considered, right? There are great casual games out there that are addicting and fun and sort of low effort on the part of the player, but the developer probably put a lot of work into making that work, basically. So this is a great example of exactly that. It's, it's not sort of ostensibly super complex for your input, but that doesn't change the fact that in the background, there's actually quite a bit going on. There's a fair few choices to make, and it makes for a really engaging and fun and unique experience. Anyway, enough gushing about that. We covered off on the fact that it's had a title update. Uh, it's still in pre-release. Well, pre I don't know what you call it these days. Early access, I suppose. Um, and yeah, look, any chance to bang the drum on World of Horror, I will take it. So check it out. I hope this is the first time you saw this and it blows you away because it's so bloody strange. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.